Hello and welcome. We have arrived in Switzerland, beautiful Switzerland, and we're actually in a campsite right now with our camper van behind us, as you can see. And it is absolutely stunning here. Waterfalls, steep cliffs, we're in a valley. Yeah. Uh, waterfalls everywhere, pretty much. There's another one there, there's one there. And there's a river stream just behind you. Mm. Honestly, it is amazing. Yeah, it's um, certainly the most expensive campsite I've ever been to, but absolutely the most beautiful. Yeah. It is over a hundred Australian dollars a night here, which is pricey, but that's just standard Switzerland prices. Yeah, um, food too, food's expensive. Yes, <laughs> it's very, very expensive, but such a beautiful country. So we're just gonna film some of the stuff we do over the next few days before we head off to Italy. Swimming in beautiful lakes, hiking in the mountains, potentially surfing on a mountain at a, a wave garden. Yeah, just enjoying our time here. So yeah, enjoy the video. Yeah. Stand here. So Switzerland is renowned for its world-class dairy industry. Um, they have cows here on show with bells on them um, for people to take photos and to convince people to have dairy products. And the narrative shows picturesque environments of cows in green pastures, but that doesn't take away the fact that they are slaves. They are raped and forcibly impregnated and their babies are taken away from them after a nine month pregnancy. And the male calves of the industry are murdered. And of course the dairy cows are also sent to slaughterhouses once they're considered no longer profitable. So these girls behind me are actually young dairy cows. So they would have been separated from their mothers likely just days to weeks of age. And um, you can see that they are young because they're obviously smaller in size compared to an adult cow. And you can their udders haven't completely developed yet. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a violent industry. It's blatant animal slavery. And if you consume dairy products or any other animal products or wear their skin or use them as entertainment or commodify them in any way, you are paying for animal abuse and murder. And um, yeah, you can see that they have these bells on them, all the dairy cows have bells on them and every movement they make, the bells ring loudly in their ears. Um, it's literally a form of torture. It's just, it's all for show. I think it's like an old tradition. Um, and yeah, it's just sad. Animals are not property or commodities or milk machines.
as some of our videos have shown, the dairy cows are just everywhere here in Switzerland and it's just really sad. Like it's such a sad contrast to see this natural beauty, landscape and everything and then just see these slaves literally everywhere. Everyone just sees that as something really beautiful and you see all the tourists going, oh look at the cute cows, let's have photos with them, let's laugh and smile. But they don't know the realities behind these slave industries. So we're just going to make a couple of TikTok kind of real videos to hopefully grab attention to this atrocity. We want to say thank you to Raffaella, the militant vegan, because after spending, we only spent, what, two, two, two or three days with her, and we just feel so inspired in terms of making TikTok videos and bringing out more enthusiasm and urgency when we make yeah. our informative videos. Yeah. Like, it's great to just talk to the camera and make an informative video, but it doesn't really get that much attention. So if you can be, if you can bring something like creative, urgent, and something that's going to get that hook to get the message out there, then why not? So we're trying a different style of video with this. And um, it's sort of like bringing out my disruptive voice, but yeah. in like just a talking to the camera style. So. Yeah, and it's much harder for me because I'm not used to <laughs> speaking like that. But yeah, it feels good once you do it. Yeah, it will and take you, practice, yeah. but I think what Rafaela does is obviously fucking working. She's, she probably has the most views out of any animal rights activist I know, like ever before. She has over 100 million views on YouTube. Um, on TikTok, it would literally be, um, I don't even know, hundreds of millions, yeah, essentially. Yeah. And it works. She gets in front of the camera, she uses creative costumes, she uses her body language and everything, and it's just spreading the message. So it's honestly amazing, and we're inspired to give it a go to. So <laughs> let's do it for these poor slaves behind us who are just treated as milk machines. Yep. These mothers are the slaves of the dairy industry. They are repeatedly raped, have their babies taken away from them, and murdered if they're not born... I fucked up. <laughs> Should I go again? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> These mothers are the slaves of the dairy industry. They are repeatedly raped, have their babies taken away from them, and murdered if they're not born... Fuck, why do I keep saying not born? These mothers are the slaves of the dairy industry. They are repeatedly raped, have their babies taken away from them, and murdered if they're born male. And once she can't produce enough breast milk, she's sent to a slaughterhouse and murdered. You aren't a fucking baby cow. So in one field we have the mother slaves of the dairy industry who are treated like milk machines. And then in the other field are her baby daughters who are separated from her, usually the moment they're born, if not just days to weeks of age. And where's the males? Well, most of them are sent to the slaughterhouse and shot in the head because they don't produce breast milk. This is the realities of the dairy industry. Even if it's in these beautiful green pastures of Switzerland, it's still slavery, rape, torture, abuse, and murder. And you contribute to it if you're not vegan. I can talk about Jack, I can talk about the babies while they do. See so you can see this baby, she's suckling from my hand. And that's just a natural instinct of a baby when they can't suck on the teeth of their mother. And this is because she's separated from her mother. So she's separated from her mother so you can consume her mother's breast milk. So you are paying for the rape of dairy cows to be forcibly impregnated, to have their babies separated from them and murdered if they're born male, or kept as a slave if they're born female and have their milk stolen from them repeatedly until they're considered no longer profitable and they're sent to a slaughterhouse and brutally murdered. Yeah. So behind me you can see the the babies, the female baby calves, 
They've been separated from their mother, as you can see just here. And the males, well they went to a slaughterhouse because they don't produce any milk for breastfeeding non-vegans like you. As you'll see, ah, fuck, that's electric. Oh shit, Jack. Yeah, done. Jack, are you okay? Yeah. Come here, darling. There you go. Come on, sweetie. It's okay, darling. You think they're too young to want grass, but actually, no, they are feeding on it over there. Okay. Careful of your face. Hello, Hello babies. Look at, look at that, um, device around her head. And it looks like that's made out of the skin of other cows. It's absolutely sick. I think some of the collars around them might be made of, out of skin as well. Oh, she's bleeding on her nose. The one with the weird device around her head. Look at that, Jack. Mm. Is that made out of skin? Yeah. Careful of your arm. It almost touched. <clears throat> I don't want them to get electrocuted. Yeah. Her ears so close. Watch out, darling. Watch out. Don't hurt yourselves. Oh no, she's getting close. Watch out, darling. Watch out. Hello, I'm here. Hello. Are you cooking? Yes. Noodle. Welcome. What's the ISO on? <laughs> it's terrible. Is it on 20,000? Do I bring it down? 20,000. Is that better? What's the ISO one? I just turned it to 20,000. <laughs> no, we don't want it. I was, I was like, I don't want it to be 20,000. I mean, it's extremely high. Well, it was over 80,000. Shit. Turn the aperture right down then. Now That's you're in slow motion. Cooking noodles. Noodles for you. <laughs> we want noodles. 
Asian noodles. See the water? No, you don't see the water. Okay. Well, let's <laughs> flash then. This is you. You're on spot focus. You turn that on. everywhere all right you can go when you're ready okay so we speak went. up all right so we have subway and it is the vegan chicken teriyaki subway which is very exciting for me because I used to eat the actual chicken flesh teriyaki subway when I was an animal abuser so it's really nice to have a abuse and murder free option subway because all the other subways I haven't really liked like the veggie patty shit it's just very average but this is freaking good mm. I love teriyaki very mm. <laughs> um <gasps> Subway even have vegan cookies. They don't contain dairy or eggs from mother cows and chickens who were exploited and raped for their milk and eggs and these are very good too save them for later and we've just arrived at the wave garden so that's like an i guess a man-made wave pool essentially um so we're gonna after this gonna see if I can get a session in and go surfing in Switzerland.
Jack, that was so cute. She just missed. You ready? All right, so we are here at the Wave Garden, and um, unfortunately, they didn't have enough space for the intermediate. So ideally, I'd be in the intermediate. I'm a pretty experienced surfer, but I haven't uh, shortboarded on steep waves for a very, very long time. Um, but I'm in the advanced class and I'm really nervous. So we're just watching the um, intermediate waves at the moment. And even those waves look pretty steep. So... Yeah, I'm just a bit nervous. Um, apparently it's actually more difficult in the pool than it is in the ocean to catch the waves. So they usually recommend you go down lower than your actual level in the ocean so that makes me even more nervous that i'm in the advanced class um but otherwise hopefully i'll at least get one or two waves where i don't fall off and it should be fun so, yeah. let's do this Thank you. 
How was it? I did it. You did so well. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, should we put the microphone on or is it okay? Uh, we it's can put good. it on. We can put it on. Okay. So, yeah, I definitely expected it to be a lot harder. Thanks to the fucking receptionist woman who was a fucking cunt. <laughs> because yesterday when we came in, um, I asked her, I said, I just have some questions. I don't know what the go is. I'm a pretty experienced surfer, so can you help me? And she didn't even fucking help me. She just said, oh, have you take the quiz online? I'm like, no, I didn't know about the quiz. That's why I've come to ask you, bitch. She's like, take the quiz online. And like, she was so unhelpful. So I took the quiz and it told me to do intermediate. And as I said before, there was no spots left in intermediate. So then I booked into like the Malibu beginners and then I thought, and then I looked at the YouTube videos online. I thought, fuck this, of course I can surf in the advanced. Uh, obviously I was still a bit nervous because the receptionist kept saying like, the waves are steep, we recommend you go a level lower. But that was fucking easy, considering I haven't surfed like shortboarded for three or four years now. So that was good. I only fell a couple of times. I think the board hit the wall on the second I don't think it did, wave. I was recording and I don't really? think it Really? No. Fuck, it, it looks so close. Yeah. And I couldn't do anything, because the wave was coming, I was, I had just fallen. <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah, you did really well. Thank you. It's very good. <laughs> it was a nice way to end our stay in Switzerland. I definitely didn't expect to be surfing, like in the middle of Europe. <laughs> um, so that was cool. And it's kind of like the end of our road trip in Switzerland. We're heading to Zurich tomorrow. And um, then we'll be off to Italy the next day. So yes, Switzerland was fun. But to be honest, I personally feel from what we experienced anyway, it's a bit overrated. Norway's a lot was a lot better experience. And I guess we probably had high expectations because there's so many people raving about Switzerland, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's expensive. That surfing session, one hour with this rental, 330 Australian dollars. That's fucking insane. The equivalent but, would be about a hundred dollars in Australia minus the rental equipment. Yeah, so it would be a yeah, hundred bucks in Australia. Um, it's just insane. But I thought I'd have I have to experience this. Like experience, I I live by experience over money. So experience always comes first. And even though it was expensive, I'm glad that I did that. Good. Surf a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go get changed, and then we can go get some food. Okay. Oh yeah, there's lots of vegan options here. Are you still recording? Yeah. Yes. There's lots of vegan options here, thankfully. Just so we're going to go have a, bit up, a we gotta do it. $50 pad thai or vegan burger. But whatever. <laughs> Experience <laughs> over <laughs> the money, right? Yeah. Okay. Better be good. Yes. 